Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So as we all know, yesterday was the Super Bowl and congrats, I guess, to the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, y'all know, unless it's the Vikings in the Super Bowl, I have absolutely no dog in any Super Bowl fights. OK, I'm just here to watch the game and chill. But I cannot lie. Yesterday's game, we had like a little small Super Bowl party over here at my house. You know what I'm saying? And um, it just felt really scripted. It felt weird to me um, and to a lot of people. And even there was this girl at my house yesterday. She was like literally predicting everything play by play that was gonna happen. And then once it went into overtime, I'm like, yep, we already know what this is about. Like even like the dramatics of them going into overtime was all part of the quote unquote script. And of course me and my friends were not the only ones who felt this way. On social media, a lot of people felt like it was scripted felt like it was rigged. Um, there's been so many conspiracy theories about yesterday's game and just Super Bowl in general. Everything from Taylor Swift being featured constantly, her and Ice Spice were there together with Riot USA. And it's just really weird to see them hanging out. Granted, they did have the song together called Karma, but Taylor Swift is 34, Ice Spice is 23. And outside of the song, what all do they have in common to be hanging out in this Super Bowl area? Like, Where's Selena Gomez? Where's your best friends that you've been hanging out with for years? All of a sudden, it's all about her and Ice Spice. And what creeped a lot of people out was that during the game, Ice Spice started throwing up devil horns and was showing her inverted upside down cross. So that caused a lot of controversy. Um, on top of that, the number 13 kept popping up around Taylor. That was causing controversy. And even like the final score of the night where it was San Francisco 22, um, KC 25, and you see the number 333. So a lot of people were talking about that. On top of that, you had Alicia Keys once again. She was wearing all red. And people were saying that the way she was posed on the field, she was posed like Jesus Christ was posed on the cross with her arms out and her legs crossed. It's a very strange pose, um, I guess, Alicia. Now this pose wouldn't be as crazy or problematic if I didn't see Kanye over in the corner with a gimp mask on with a Jesus Christ um, on the cross logo on his face and Christ is posed the same way as Alicia Keys. So I don't know what in the Illuminati blood sacrifice industry fruit basket is going on here, but something about this Super Bowl is just weird as hell. I, I don't know, but I'm not gonna lie. I definitely enjoyed Usher's halftime performance, okay? He did kill that shit, but it was a lot of other weird stuff that was just going on during the Super Bowl. Um, people were also talking about Taylor Swift taking a picture, with the KC Conference Champions hat, and as you can see, she's throwing up the 666 sign. Now, to be fair, um, the sign is definitely devilish. But um, when they do have Super Bowls, they make merch for both teams. They make winning merch for both teams. So whoever team wins, the merch is ready there, ready for sale and everything else. And whoever lost, they end up just shipping it overseas to like, you know, some other country and let, you know, let the kids wear free t-shirts and hats. They, you know, they don't know. They don't care about the Super Bowl. But that shows you what happens is they end up tossing out the merch of the losing team. So they always make enough merch for both teams in case, you know, one wins over the other. So she obviously got in the merch bag. They showed that they were going to be champions. But the fact that she's throwing up that symbolism makes me give her the side eye for sure. Um, it's just a lot of weird conspiracies at this point that are being attached to this game, um, especially concerning like Travis Kelsey and Taylor's relationship. A lot of people feel like this was nothing but a big ploy for the NFL because we know the NFL's numbers, like people watching the NFL, it has gone down in years just due to a lot of things people have checked out. We also know that the music industry has been dying as of late. And so what better way to try and bring in more viewers, you know what I'm saying, than to bring in young people and these fandoms to start getting into the NFL. 
And I believe that is why Ice Spice was there and Taylor Swift. Not saying that Taylor Swift and Travis are not in love or, you know, but again, she goes through men like draws. Let's keep that real. You know, we'll see if he's here a year from now. Hopefully he'll be, but who knows? So I think this was like the best thing for the NFL in recent times because they've made so much money from selling merchandise. There's sweatshirts that say, you know, uh, Taylor Swift's boyfriend. It was sold out. So they've been making so much money off of this relationship. And let's keep it real. Giselle Bunchen, you know what I'm saying, is a Brazilian fashion model. She was also married to Tom Brady for years. As many times as Tom Brady has made it into the Super Bowl, I've never seen them focus on Giselle Bunchen. They just haven't. Maybe because she's older, you know, she's 43 now, still gorgeous and fly. But I'm just saying, they've never focused on a girlfriend, a wife, like they have been doing with Taylor Swift. And that is because Taylor Swift has the youth. And who has the youth when it comes to, you know, the black youth, quote unquote? See, Taylor Swift has a young white youth online. But the person who's really representing for the young black youth right now is Ice Spice. Let's keep that real. She's young. She's on the Barbie soundtrack. She's everywhere. You know, you may not think she's talented. I don't really think that song, you know, I'm the shit, you're a fart, whatever the hell that shit's called. I don't really think that's a bop, but the kids are loving it. And she got to perform it at one of the pregames. Think you the sick bitch? You're not even the fart. She has a huge following. She's definitely getting into spaces that other people who've been in the game a lot longer are not getting into. Like Lotto really has skills. Lotto's been in the game for years. I don't think I've ever seen Lotto at the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? So it's just very interesting to see like all the attention that Ice Spice is getting, being attached to Taylor Swift and Riot USA. We all know his daddy's DJ enough. So it's like, I feel like you have the music industry and the sports industry, they're all coming together. They're all trying to collab and cross promote because the industry is dying. So however we can keep people entertained and watching, they're gonna do that. So I felt that the Chiefs were gonna win, which they did. So I wanna go ahead and just show you some of these conspiracies right now concerning the Chiefs and Taylor Swift and Ice Spice. So I want y'all to watch this. I'm also gonna show you guys some of these tweets. And let's not forget, President Joe Biden even sent out a tweet, <laughs> which like really went crazy on the internet and you know basically he was trying to be funny and poke fun at himself but a lot of people are saying that you know there's a lot more to this tweet this person says as predicted Casey wins in a dramatic overtime too stay tuned for more scripted Taylor and Travis love story paid for by Big Pharma predictable Joe Biden says just like we drew it up somebody else says God rebuke this evil and witchcraft of this generation Taylor Swift is in all black, chugging while her friend Ice Spice wearing an upside down cross. Signs to the devil. It's all spiritual warfare. This generation needs Yahshua. And then as you see, Taylor and Travis is trending. Super Bowl um, is trending. Satanic is trending. And Satanic has honestly been trending literally all day long. Every time you saw Taylor Swift on your TV at the Super Bowl, you were flashed with demonic hand gestures and an inverted cross. Because right next to her was this woman, Ice Spicy. The second she notices she's on TV, she does her hand gestures and shows her cross. I mean, you don't even have to be conspiracy theorist for this one her friends are drinking doing whatever watching the game and she does this it just looks so forced and for those of you saying it's not an upside down cross playboy cardi literally posted it on his story and in up close videos and photos of her you can see she's clearly rocking it after the chiefs won the president of the united states posted this on his instagram saying just like we drew it up in these red eyes clonier west was at the game wearing all black with a black mask with jesus christ in between his eyes this is the big biggest stage in the world. Everything on your TV is there for a reason and we haven't even got to the commercials or the halftime show yet. You guys know what Super Bowl this is? She's 58. <laughs> you know what 5 plus 8 is? 13. 13. Is Taylor Swift's album called? 13. Yo! Dang! You guys know the date of the Super Bowl? It's the 11th. Yeah. Of? February. February. 11 plus 2. 11. Yeah. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> who, who are they playing? The 49ers. It's four plus nine. Dude, come on. <laughs> 13. I'm just saying. What seed are the 49ers? The one seed. What seed are the Chiefs? The two seed. No. The what? three. One, one three. three. 13. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is so stupid. Where's uh, Taylor Swift coming from? She's coming from Tokyo to okay. the Super Bowl. What does that mean? A flight from Tokyo to Las Vegas. It's 13, 13 hours. It's 13 hours. <laughs> this is and I'm stupid. not even kidding. <laughs> what the fuck? You know how many games Taylor uh, Swift has been to? 13. 13? 
12. This is the 13th? <laughs> the Super Bowl will be the 13th. <laughs> is, this, is this all true? Or this, yeah, no, this is this all for has- real. So there's a lot of conspiracies going on right now concerning this latest Super Bowl fiasco. Chad, like I said, do your own research. I'm just here to report what's trending. Regardless if you believe it or don't believe it, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about this? How do you guys feel about the Super Bowl game? Did you guys enjoy it? Do you guys feel like the Chiefs won fair and square and there's no way to rig an NFL game? Do you feel like people are just reaching and they're mad because their team didn't win? Or do you believe that the conspiracy theorists have a point and that it seems very odd that everything dealing with this game is in numbers, like the number 13 and 333? And then how do you guys feel about Ice Spice and Taylor Swift and Ice Spice literally throwing up the devil horns and pointing to her chain and Taylor Swift just guzzling alcohol? (laughs) You know, it was a hot mess, child. It was just, I didn't understand why they kept focusing in on them. It was just weird. There's even a video of Taylor Swift introducing Travis Kelsey to Ice Spice. Spice. It's like, who cares? A lot of fun. It's a perfect city for Jack. Like, we're here for the game. Like, why are they so obsessed with this couple? It's weird. That's why I feel like you can't tell me that the NFL is not playing a hand in pushing this relationship and shoving it down the fans' throats, but that's just my opinion. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading your comments down below. Love to know your thoughts. Please make sure you hit this video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And I'll talk to you later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.